So what do you make of Colin Kaepernick not standing up? I support him. I find it so interesting how people want to pick and choose what rights people have. Now, anytime you talk about anti-gun violence, people run around screaming about they don't want their Second Amendment rights to be infringed upon. The same way John Carlos and Tommy Smith raised their black glove fist in the 68 Olympics in Mexico, the same way Muhammad Ali refused to fight for injustice, a war that was crazy. Refused to fight the Vietnam yes, War. Yes, the Vietnam War. These are rights that Americans have. You see, you see what he is doing, what Colin Kaepernick is doing is in that tradition. Yes, it's in that tradition of black athletes standing up, using their platform and saying, I'm not happy with the way black people, people of color are being treated. It's so interesting because often at the time when an athlete does it, they are vilified. Oh, that's it, the thing. Years up, later. Oh. I mean, Muhammad Ali. The biggest revision story ever. Muhammad Ali at one time was the most hated, hated, hated. person. Yeah. People need to Google. Right. Do research. Muhammad Ali was the most hated person in right. America. He couldn't you know, box in yeah, America. Muhammad Ali, people love is him lighting the, the torch right. where his arm is shaking. Mm. In, 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 in the, the, the Olympics, the Olympics yeah. in Atlanta. Yeah. But not the defiant. He said, no Vietcom ever called me. I'm not going to say the N-word. Right. And he sacrificed New York, the New York prime, Times would the not prime, use his name. They would yes. call him Cassius Clay. Came, not even calling the guy his name. So I think this is in the same tradition. What I find, all I'd like to yeah, say yeah. is, I find it very interesting that three members of Big Blue, the new New York football giants, one pleasant, unpleasant, presently playing, and two retired, are the ones that criticize them. Mm. Three are the new, that's my team, mm. football. Three of those brothers, they should, I, I'm really, I'm not gonna, they should understand in what tradition, the history of why Colin did this. Now, I bet you went to all three of them, they would say they love Muhammad Ali. How you love Muhammad Ali and not love him for the stance he took not to be inducted into the Vietnam War. If you say you like John Thomas, uh, uh, Tommy Smith, John Cole, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Muhammad Ali said, if I kept my mouth shut just because I can make millions, then this ain't doing nothing. So I just love the freedom and the flesh and blood of my people more so than I do the money. And Jackie Robinson said, I cannot stand and sing the anthem. I cannot salute the flag. I know that I'm a black man in a white world. That was Jackie Robinson in 1972 in his autobiography. It is so interesting to me how... And it's, this I, is the tradition. What Colin is doing now is not just come out and pop out of nowhere. There's tradition, tradition of African-American athletes standing up and saying, and using their platform to say something is wrong. Do you think he's going to pay a price for it? I mean, they're, they they're, all do. But how many? Three years of his prime. Yeah. John Carlos, Tommy Smith, oh, co of course. But these brothers do this knowing that there can be ramifications, and they don't care. Because this is their belief. It, it's, uh... And another thing I have to say. Yeah. They always bring up, oh, you're making a lot of money. So the reason, because you make money, that means that you can't have a moral foundation and speak, I mean, like, it's, here's the thing. Black athletes, we pay you money, play ball, shut up, don't say nothing, we're giving you money, millions of dollars, just to go out there, run up and down the gridiron. I mean, there have been a lot of athletes. Run up and down athletes, the court and just be quiet and play. There have been a lot of athletes who don't want to risk, you know, their, their endorsement deals, things like Look, that. Look, I understand that. It's all, a, it's all an individual choice. But when someone has the courage to step out Do you with knowing up? they're going to lose all that, why are you going to jump on the brother, man? Do you stand up during the national anthem? Yes. But it's, it's, a, it's a, a personal choice. That is not a, me standing for, me stand up for the national anthem did not affect me doing Malcolm X or do the right thing with all the, all the other documentaries. So that has nothing to do with for me. You know, I stand up. And yet you, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to You also laugh. stand up for his right not to. Yes.